Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I picked up during the Sephora holiday save event. I have a few things that I picked up and I just want to show you guys, you know, what my current interests are and the products that I was able to grab. So if you are interested to see me do that, then please keep watching. So I'm just going to show you guys what I picked up. Before we get into that, please, if you could hit the subscribe button, it would mean so much to me. Also, give this video a thumbs up. All right, let's see what I got. The first item that I picked up, this is from Patrick Ta. He launched a new collection called a Monochrome Moment. This is his Velvet Blush. I picked it up in the shade She's Passionate. Now, I did open this. I have not used it yet. I'm gonna do a big first impressions video, so stay tuned for that. Here is what the component looks like. It is a gorgeous mirrored silver. When you open it up, it's so beautiful. The packaging is so gorgeous. Here is what the blush looks like. That's his logo there, Patrick Ta, and then it has this gorgeous mirror. Ugh, oh, the component is so, so stunning. I love this blush. I'm super excited to use it. This right here is the Pro Precision Blush Brush number 73 from Sephora. Let's take it out of the packaging. This actually was half off, so that's why I decided to pick it up. And then on top of that, I got the 15% off. So I thought I could always use another blush brush. This is definitely going to be interesting to use. I will have to try this out, but it's not actually... This almost reminds me of like a foundation brush, but it definitely says blush precision brush. So I will try this out for you guys in a future video. So here's hoping. The next product I have here is from Mother herself. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Lip Fetish Lip Balm. Now her lip balm has been around for a while. However, this is a brand new shade. I haven't tried any of her lip balms. This is in Noir. First off, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. This component, this matte black with the lips is just to die for. And when you open it up, this is what the lip balm looks like. You can see it's like a dark gray, black for, you know, the name of it is Noir. I'm going to just swatch some of it on the back of my hand. And you guys can see it has like a black cast over it. I'm wearing it on my lips right now and I kind of really am obsessed with it because it feels or I should say it looks like it almost gives my lips a, a, a more nude effect even though it's a lip balm I just love the way it tints my lips I'm I'm so far I'm obsessed with this the next item I'm showing you here is from Bumble and Bumble this is their conditioning mousse I picked this up um, this is actually for curly hair, waves to ringlets. I'm super excited to try this out. I have been using Bumble and Bumble products for the past 10 years. I really love, they have an oil, it's in an orange um, little bottle. And I forget what the exact name of it is, but they also have the dry shampoo that's really good. And their products usually for me work very well so i'm excited to try this out next i have this little set from fenty beauty so 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 cute this is a gloss bomb and this is a new shade i believe because this is also this also comes with the highlighter the highlighter is in shade sandcastle and the lip gloss is in shade sweet mouth i think this set is so adorable for the holidays look at that shade it's blinding let's swatch OMG. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. So metallic and blinding. And there's the Noir um, lip balm from Pat McGrath. And let's also swatch this lip gloss. Ooh. Oh, that is so up my alley. This was like the perfect grab for me. Mm hmm. It's like a soft pink. Ugh, oh, I can't. Mm -hmm. That highlight, I can't even take it. It's so good. So good. All right, we're getting down to the wire here, you guys. This is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Fine Liner Ultra Skinny Gel Eye Crayon, and I got mine in the shade Nudist. I really wanted to pick up an eyeliner to use in my waterline. I want it to accentuate and make my eye look larger. But the tip is super skinny. 
I think that color is gonna be perfect. Okay guys, two more things left. This is from Lancome. This is their 12 Shades of Love palette. I have to be honest with you guys, I did not pay for this with my own money. This was sent to me by Octoly. Um, I was able to pick this out and Lancome was kind enough to send this to me. So let me show you what the inside looks like. First off, the outside is just adorable. It's this hard plastic pink chrome heart. And when you open it up, the inside of the palette looks like this. Gorgeous, rosy, nude, soft colors. And actually the coolest thing about this palette is, let me zoom you in, each set here of four creates an entire look. So this one is called Big Crush, this one is called Big Night, this one's called Big Date, and it gives you a shade for your base, your corner, your highlight, and your liner for each section here. So you can create three different looks. You can create really way more than that, but for people who are maybe beginners at makeup, don't have a lot of experience, or just need new ideas, I think this is really, really cool. And the shades in here are just stunning. The packaging is everything to me. I just love, love, love it. So thank you, Lancome. The reason I'm tying these two products in that I did not pay for with my own money is because you can find them at Sephora. I will leave them linked in the description box down below. This here is from Skin Fix. This is the Correct Plus Dark Spot Corrector. I've been using this now for a few weeks. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a video dedicated to this product here. I do have before and after pictures. It really has made a very noticeable difference in my dark spots. I guess I wouldn't necessarily call them dark spots, but I spent a lot of years of my life in a tanning bed, tanning outside, being exposed to a lot of sun with no sunscreen on. I have learned my lesson. I really had a lot of unevenness in my skin tone, freckles, moles, you name it, like my face was just like pretty much jacked up. But along with this and a few other things that I have been using have truly made a difference and an impact on my skin that I've been able to notice. So love this, love the packaging. This is also available at Sephora, so I'm gonna leave this link down below. It has glycolic acid, lactic acid, aha fruit blend, lime pearl extract, niacinamide, and turmeric extract it has a bunch of good ingredients this is one of the clean beauty items at sephora so everything in here is clean beauty cruelty free and vegan this is just an awesome product and i love skin fix as a brand so thank you to skin fix for sending that to me and that is the end of my sephora haul comment down below did you guys pick anything up what was the discount that you had thank you guys if you made it all the way to the end i really appreciate you watching this video have a great day or night wherever you are and i will see you guys next time bye guys